now our topic is diffraction the phenomena of bending of light round the corners of obstacles and spreading of light into the geometrical shadow of an obstacle placed in the path of light is called diffraction simply the bending of light when it reaches or strikes any obstacles the obstacle may be sharp edges or round shapes okay around that sharp edges or round shapes the light will bend the bending phenomena is called as diffraction for example if we take this is a source this is a source from the source light is coming like this or traveling like this and also at a particular instant you have placed one screen this is the screen there directly at it, that is incident there we can get the maximum intensity okay but in the propagation direction of the light you have placed a sharp edge a knife edge so due to that one at this corner at this edges the light will bend due to this bending this in between these we can observe the shadow can observe the shadow so how much of uh, ray it bend that is called as angle of diffraction theta this is also it may bend towards like this so here also you can take this is also angle of diffraction so that means from the center the intensity will be decreases this phenomena is called as diffraction diffractions are two types the first one is fraunhofer diffraction fraunhofer diffraction and the second one is second one is fresnel's diffraction the first one is fraunhofer diffraction and the second one is fresnel's diffraction fresnel's diffraction now i would like to explain the differences between the fraunhofer diffraction and also the fresnel's diffraction based on the huygens view theory also so in our previous class we have discussed that that is according to huygens view theory from the source the light particles are traveling in all the distances in all the directions so due to that one nearby the source the wave front is either may be the spherical or cylindrical when the waves are traveling very long distances those are becomes like a plane wave front so in the fresnel's diffraction in the fresnel's diffraction the source is here only important points on right here the source is point source the source is point source okay but if you take the fraunhofer diffraction here the source is a extended source coming from a very long distances this is a point source and this is a extended source so that means fresnel's diffraction the source and screen the source and screen are placed at finite distance placed at finite distance from the obstacle producing the diffraction placed at finite distance but if you take in the fraunhofer diffraction both that means source that means source and screen are screen are infinite distance source and screen are infinite distance from the obstacle or slit obstacle or slit this is the second one as the third difference is in the fraunhofer diffraction this is the extended source extended source means the source is light is coming from a very long distances when the light is coming from a very long distances it will be converted into a which type of wave front that is plane wave front that means in the fraunhofer diffraction the wave front is plane wave front but if we take in the fresnel's diffraction source and screen are finite distance due to that one the wave front is the wave front is wave front is either may be spherical either may be spherical or leda or or cylindrical shape 
or cylindrical shape. Now I would like to explain this one based on the our diagrams also. So in the Fraunhofer diffraction, so the source is coming from very long distances. So we may take like that or we may take this one like this. Okay. So from very long distances. For example, if we take the source, it will travel in all the directions. So to get the parallel beam of light rays, we have to be take one lens. So this is a convex lens. This convex lens makes that uh, random direction rays into the parallel beam of light rays. So like this, we will get the parallel beam of light rays. We want to focus them on a screen. So this is a screen. This is a screen. X, Y, M, N, A, B, whatever. You want to focus that one at this particular point. So due to that one, in the place of focal length, we have to use one more lens automatically all the rays are focused at that point. Okay, here source is at infinite distance. This is lens, this is also another lens. Now we have to be observe the okay, diffraction pattern. That's why we have to take one slit. This is a slit. This is a slit. In this slit, due to this slit, the light will bend at the corners or edges. So, like this, the beam will come and reach our screen at the position P1. That's maybe in the upward direction or the lower direction. No problem. Okay. So, in between these two, we are observing the shadow region. That means, to focus the beam in this Fraunhofer diffraction, we are using the lens. That means, here, we have to use lens lens is used lens is used okay the front is traveling very very long distances from the screen from the slit from the slit that's where the wave front is plane wave front but if you come to the frontal direction so this is a point source and this is the obstacle so this is the screen okay so here the point source this is a source, this is the source, and this is the obstacle, this is the obstacle, this is the obstacle, this is the screen. Both are finite distance, that means very small distance. Okay, that's way here wave front is plane wave front, here wave front is plane wave front. Sorry, uh, wave front is either maybe spherical or cylindrical. The, these two are that means source and screen are at finite distance. So, due to that one, due to that one, uh, we no need to use lens. No use of lens. No use of lens. These are the main differences between the Fraunhofer diffraction and also the Prenner's diffraction.